Howdy DSM tool users, my name is Joe, and I am going to show you how to use the auto feedback tool, how to configure it, and how to make sure that you get the most out of it. This tool is available for anybody and everybody who's upgraded their account. We call those people VIPs. I'm going to show you how to get to the settings right now. Click on the settings icon right there. Looks like a gear. Then here you'll see general, dashboard, lister, monitor, sales and orders and account this is also important right here and i'll come up later time zone is under general you can change that to whatever time zone you wish i'm actually going to change it to eastern time or sorry central time right now because right now i am in colombia and i need central time cool i'm going to update that and then I'm going to show you, and you might have to do that in a minute, so that's important for you to know as well. Then I will show you sales and orders. Now this is the auto feedback system. DSM tool is really cool about this because what happens with this is it will auto detect a certain few conditions which might change whether you ask or whether you don't ask for feedback and it will adapt to that. I'll explain that as we go. It's the only tool, DSM tool, that gives it for all VIP members without you having to opt into auto orders. So if you're upgraded an account, you will have access to auto feedback, whether or not you have auto orders. Auto orders is available at the higher, uh, at the higher tiers, um, but every single VIP person gets auto feedback. Now you'll see here the boxes. If it's black, that means it's not on. I'm going to turn this on so you can see it says dear client name now here is a placeholder the two brackets and the client underscore name all caps as you can see placeholders right here item title and client name will be filled in automatically automatically from every single order those things will be put in there without even trying everywhere if you want to make your own move around the words wherever it says client name all in caps with the underscore and the two brackets opening and closing just like this it will show the client name same with the item title and as long as it looks like this it'll show it if you want to change it up this one is the the message right after somebody right after you you've ordered the item and mentioned that to DSM tool right after you change the item to ordered this one right here is after you mark it as ordered it will leave a feedback this is my default feedback for for you it might be slightly different but that's what it looks like for me when you mark as shipped, you, you have the client name, the tracking number is automatic, as well as carrier is also automatic. So client name is a placeholder, like a variable. Tracking number is automatically in there once you mark it as shipped. Same with carrier. That will automatically be in there. Now for feedback, same thing. This will ask the customer for feedback in seven days. Now. Here's the really cool thing about DSM tool. If you've ordered through AliExpress, shipping might take longer than seven days. So DSM tool will detect that and not ask for feedback in seven days. Also, if for any reason your customer has already given you feedback, which is cool, proactive customers are great. DSM tools will detect that and it will not ask for feedback. Also, uh, that's something that I, I really appreciate about DSM tool. I think you will as well the fact that it knows when it's appropriate to ask for feedback and if it's not appropriate it won't now one of the cool things I'll show you also is how you can manually stop it from happening now here is the the help help feedback um, because my store is on vacation mode I have not used I have not sent a um, a package an order in the last several weeks last couple weeks um, because it's on it's on pause so I'm gonna have to show you it through here it will if you have a feedback request message that is on its way that hasn't been sent yet it's under seven days then you see a green clock next to your orders in the sales and orders page I'll show you where it will be it'll be right here this this um, it didn't update yet because I didn't update that manually um, that's something that I can do but it'll be right where that red that red uh, handling time is over sign is instead it'll be a green clock and it will say feedback request message pending if you put your mouse over it 
Now, if you click on it, clicking, clicking on the green clock will pop up the option to cancel the automatic feedback request. So if you click on that like that, it will cancel, it will give you an option to cancel. For instance, I don't know if, if something extraneous happens where you had to cancel the order on its way or something, then you can, um, then you can click on that and stop the automatic feedback request in seven, which happens in seven days from when you order it. Um, now, in addition to AliExpress, it's really cool. If the buyer is outside of the country and you have shipped it through the global shipping program, shipping to them might take longer than seven days and DSM tool will also not ask them. And also here's where it come, where the time zone comes into play. The sale time is by default London time, Greenwich Mean Time, and appears next to the sale date. You can change the time zone right how I showed you in the beginning. Um, and that's that's that. That's that, folks. If you have any questions, feel free to go into the little question box right here and ask a question. You can start a new conversation, um, Kafir uh, or Amir will reply and be like, hey, love your tool. How does the auto feedback work if you have any questions that's what you do you press enter and then they will reply typically in a few hours wish you the best and i hope that i answered all your questions and keep on drop shipping my friends